What's good family? Welcome back to the channel. So yesterday we had just watched a video of a family that had called the police because they had saw like these beings that were eight to ten feet tall. The police ended up coming. They had the whole video footage on. They recorded all the conversations, but when they stepped into the backyard, they blacked it out and no longer showed any more footage because they said it's private property. In my mind, I'm like, yo, that's crazy fishy. First off, if I was there, if I was the family members, I would have done filmed it. You know what I'm saying? I would have called the police when I had someone else film the joint. Eight to ten feet tall? You talking about it landed in your backyard? So in my mind, I'm like, yo, this is the, either the news report is cap. Or the news report is capped. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Because at this point, I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, yo, if they want to, if they really want to push this alien invasion type of theory, the main reason that they would be doing this is just to get people more scared and under fear so they could submit to like a one world type of government. Reason being, it's like, yo, if we, if everyone believes that we're being attacked by aliens, that's going to make the human human race unite more. But at the end of the day, it's going to make the government much more powerful. Because people are going to end up submitting to the government, believing that aliens are, were under attack by aliens. That's what I think about this situation. So in this video right here, we found, it seems as if we have more details on the, on the entire altercation that happened with these 8 foot tall aliens. It says, 100% they were not human. Witness details alleged alien encounter in Las Vegas. So let's see what evidence or proof and details they bring in this video right here. Southern Nevada is abuzz tonight with stories about the crash of an unknown object and the alleged sighting of strange creatures in the backyard of a Northwest Valley home. So it was last night that 8 News Now investigator David Charns reported about how Metro Police responded back on May 1st after receiving a strange call from a very frightened family. Well, our report generated a global response and now piecing together the sequence of events has been kind of tricky in part because the primary witnesses have been almost as elusive as the beings they say they encountered. Chief Investigator George Knapp is as perplexed as the rest of us, George. As you know, this is not our first UFO rodeo. We first heard about the incident in early May via the Metro Police grapevine. The incident has a lot in common with other bizarre cases from around the world, an alleged crash, strange beings, and bits and pieces that don't make sense. But the police took this seriously, and so do we. Just before midnight on April 30th, sky watchers across several western states saw a bright fireball streak through the heavens. A police officer working in the Northwest Valley caught a glimpse of the colorful object on his body cam. At nearly the same time, a ring camera in the area recorded a strange noise and what sounds like a crash. One family living in a ranch-style home had a much closer view of the object. Two brothers and their father were working on a vehicle in their yard when they caught a glimpse of a sparkly object as it came crashing down, then were hit by what they describe as a shockwave. One of the witnesses, a young man named Angel, has stated when the brothers looked into the yard where the object landed, that spot was obscured and blurry, as if by unknown form of camouflage. What they saw next... Wait, what? Hold up. Let me get this straight. Has stated, when the brothers looked into the yard where the object landed, that spot was obscured and blurry, as if by unknown form of camouflage. What they saw next prompted a frantic call to 911. So there's two people or two subjects that are in your backyard? Correct, and they're very large. They're okay. like eight foot. Nine feet, ten foot, I don't know. They're, they, look like, they look like aliens to us. Big eyes, they have big eyes, okay. like... Like, I can't explain it. And big up mouth. They're shiny eyes and... And they're not human. They're 100% they're not human. 8 News Now investigators have spoken with family members multiple times in the past four weeks. But each of the three times we accepted their invitation to do an interview, they didn't answer the door or their phone. These are some of the claims they've made in other public forums. Multiple family members backed up the story in an initial police report we obtained. Ain't so how... How you look at the objects, how you look in the area and it's just blurry. That's my first thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's very interesting. I was thinking like through the camera it may be blurry, but just looking at an area and it's just blurry. And now, <clears throat> why don't they want to speak on it? 
You feel what I'm saying? I feel like this is something that you really speak out about. If you encounter something that you believe is alien, like that's something you speak out about. Angel says they heard the patter of multiple feet in the yard. They later heard footsteps on their roof. They saw one of the eight foot tall creatures climb behind the controls of a large front loader stored in the yard as if trying to engage it. He got a good look at one of the creatures, he said, a greenish grayish being with large eyes and long legs. He says he could hear its deep breaths. And when he locked eyes, he was in essence frozen in place, couldn't move. In the middle of the yard where the object had crashed then vanished, a circular impression was left in the soil. Okay, where is this on your property? Metro sources say the police oh, dispatcher okay. initially... Won this man is living in the real-life Monster Inc. movie, bro. <laughs> what? Mad, big, greenish, with some big eyes. Yo, that joint, he said he heard the breath. How do you hear breathing from, like, mad far? You heard him breathing from inside the crib? Dang. What the... And he was walking on the roof? I'm not... <laughs> Wondered whether to send a crisis intervention team to help the troubled witness, but then took the incident seriously. Two officers arrived 38 minutes after the call, and by then had heard from other officers. They proceeded cautiously and managed some nervous laughs. I ain't dealing with that. <laughs> a few days later, the family says, two Metro sergeants cool, returned cool. to the scene to ask follow-up questions. The family says they also saw men in suits and sunglasses driving in a car with government plates cruising slowly past the house in the following days. Nellis and Creech have denied any interest or involvement with the incident. Metro has indicated they believe the family that something crashed in their yard, but what? You, know, you mentioned George in that piece that you know they were frozen because so many people have been critical of like why didn't get their phone out? Why didn't they shoot the video? Do you know if there's even any video of this incident? Uh, uh, yes, and you dang Skippy, you were unfrozen to call the cops, <laughs> bro. Honestly, going like this is much more like you know what I'm saying. Say cheese, yeah. Say cheese. <laughs> Hold up. Let me say cheese. God, you say it one more time. Say. Okay, okay. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I think it's kind of fire, yeah. Nah, but seriously though, you could call the cops, and there's and there's hell. There's a whole family. I would. I would personally think to film it. You know what I'm saying? But. Why didn't get their phone out? Why didn't they shoot the video? Do we know if there's even any video of this incident? Uh, uh, yes and no. So there is a surveillance camera in the backyard. The property owner keeps that because he's like got a lot of expensive equipment there. What we were told is that at the moment this thing comes down and crash, this camera went out and it was out for a couple of minutes. When it came back on, the object was gone, but you the circle was there. Me, We've been told by Angel in multiple phone conversations that he shot video wow. of the creatures. We haven't seen it, and we don't know anybody else who's seen it yet, so maybe he'll release it at some point. It's getting a lot of attention. Yeah, oh yeah all over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's getting, it's getting a lot of attention, and your views are going up on your news channel, and it's just completely made up. <laughs> they're, they're hype. Yeah, it's getting a lot. Come on. Come on. Look at, look at him. This man knows this whole joint is cap. You're telling me, so when the object landed, the security cameras go out. And then when it leaves, the security cameras turn back on. When the cop goes to the backyard, they don't want to show it. And now we know that the act, the owners of of the of the house actually filmed it, but they don't want to release it. What's going on here? Why y'all even covering this news story if I'm not gonna show the goodies? You know, <laughs> like why are you even covering this? You over here talking about it too much. Let me see the evidence conversations that he shot video of this camera went out and it was out for a couple of minutes when it came back on the object was gone but the circle was there we've been told by angel in multiple phone conversations that he shot video of the creatures we haven't seen it and we don't know anybody else who's seen it yet so maybe he'll release it at some point it's getting a lot of attention yeah, oh yeah all over <laughs> all right yeah. George, all over. Oh, oh. maybe he'll release it at some point look at the script look at their script should he got his script on her uh, printed out and on her ipad it's getting a lot of attention. Yeah, okay, all over. <laughs> all right, yeah. George, thanks right. for that. Hey, like I always say, we are all, we could all have our different point of views and beliefs and whatever it is. Comment down below what you think. 
Do you think this was a, a genuine alien uh, alien invasion on Earth? Do you think aliens actually landed in this person's backyard? Or do y'all think this news channel is just completely making it up, whether it's for the views, whether it's to have people in confusion, maybe in fear, whether it's for a larger agenda? Or you could or is it that you believe in aliens? You know what I'm saying? Comment it down below what you guys think about this. Make sure you do smash the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. I'm going to catch you guys on the next one the same way you're going to catch me in the next one. Peace. Love y'all.